is the dividing date. This is one of the major areas which many people, including me back then, struggled to understand. And therefore today I'm going to talk about what is the dividing date and the implications of having such a dividing date. But before that, put that in the comment section that if you have any areas which you want me to elaborate more in this channel, any major topics, NEC topics that you want me to elaborate in this channel, just put that in the comment section so when I have a look, at least I know what sort of directions this, this channel should go towards to. You know, the major purpose of this channel is to help us refresh our memories. Many people passed after their accreditation training, especially when you go, we have gone through that four-day training. It's difficult, it's challenging. Many people pass. It's, it's, it's a matter of fact. But guess what? After that qualification, after you have received that certificate, you said something like, oh, oh my goodness, I forgot this, I forgot that. How about this? How about that? And in real life, oh my goodness, this, this real life question is a lot trickier than I, than, that, that I have expected. And I want someone to refresh my memories. And that is how, that is why I made this channel. So put that in the comment section, whatever topic that you want me to elaborate more, I will just do it uh, when I look at those topics. And I think uh, this is appropriate to share in here. So back to... The, the first question here, the first question is, is what is the dividing date? A dividing date is simply put a date that divides something, divides, D-I-V-I-D-E-S, divides something. So it divides the actual defined cost of work done and the forecast defined cost of work not yet done. Actual defined cost and forecast defined cost. There is a certain date that divides these two events. We call that date a dividing date. As simple as that. So perhaps it's, it's a good idea for me to show uh, the screen here so that I can visualize the concept for you and hopefully you can understand it better. So give me some, give me, give me a second before I can fire up that, that screen for you. Okay, so here is the timeline, the green line. We have something called a dividing date. DD here, it divides actual defined cost and forecast defined cost. Actual defined cost, DC. Forecast defined cost. Add the fee on top. Add the fee, F. Add everything together. We call that the quotation in terms of cost when we assess compensation event. So actual forecast, a certain date dividing something, that date is the dividing date. So when is exactly that date then? There are two instances. I try to simplify things just to help us help us memorize. So first one, first one, on the project manager side, I would say the date of PMI. There are examples in the contract, but this is one of the major areas. I simply put PMI. There are other areas I will explain. The second one on the contractor side is the date of the notification of compensation event, NCE here. Contractor side, they notify compensation event on that date. That day, we call that a dividing date. So everything before that dividing date, we use actual defined cost plus fee. Everything after that dividing date, we use forecast defined cost plus fee. And that is a dividing date. I say all this, all this under clause 63.1 on page 21 of the contract. So I may, I may go to the contract for you. Some of you may have the contract with you. Some of you, some of you actually told me you listen to my channel in your car when you drive back to work. So it is okay if you don't have the, if you don't have the contract, I will just read things slowly and then hopefully you will understand it better. So clause 63.1 is said so, is that the change to the prices is assessed as the effect of the compensation event and point. Three points here. First bullet point, the actual defined cost of work done by the dividing date. Second bullet point, the forecast defined cost of work not done by the dividing date. And the third bullet point here, the resulting fee. So you see on the screen here, actual defined cost plus fee, forecast defined cost plus fee, something that divides, we call that the dividing date. So when exactly is that date? The two following paragraphs said so. So it says, for a compensation event, it arises from the project manager or supervisor giving an instruction 
on notification. That's point one here. So PMI. Actually, the supervisor can give instruction too. I simply say PMI just, just to help us memorize. So project manager or supervisor giving an instruction or notification. That's point one. Let me read on. Issuing a certificate. That's point two. Certificate. Or changing an earlier decision. That's point three. So point one, project manager or supervisor giving an instruction and notification. Point two, issuing a certificate. Point three, changing an earlier decision. The dividing date is the date of that communication. So say, if you have a project manager giving an instruction on that date of that instruction given by the project manager, that is the dividing date. Now, how about from the contractor side? So this clause carries on by saying something like this. It says, for other compensation events, the dividing date is the date of the notification of compensation events. So what are those other compensation events? So-called other compensation events. Of course, of course, those other compensation events are the compensation events notified by the contractor. And therefore, on the date of the notification of compensation event by the contractor, that date is the dividing date. So once again, dividing date, first on the project manager side, is the date of a project manager instruction. There are something else, of course. We, we just read, we just we just read about it, supervisor and all this. On the contractor side, it is the date of the notification of compensation event. So that is a dividing date. So what are the implications? Well, the implications actually is quite significant. It's quite significant in NEC four, especially. Some people will say, "Well, actually, this is quite this is quite new to me in NEC four. But as a matter of fact, in NEC three. They also have such a concept of dividing date. It's just that in NEC 4, they label that date as a dividing date. In NEC 3, you also have such a concept. In NEC 4, they try to clarify such a concept and label that date as a dividing date. Just to clarify. Just to clarify. And um, another implication here is when we assess, for example, the time implication of a compensation event, we need to pick a program. We need to pick a program. The, the problem here is which program to pick. Now, many of us know that we need to pick that program. We call it accepted program. Accepted, A-C-C-E-P-T-E-D, accepted program. That program, we pick that, we assess that compensation events in terms of time. But then things happen, things happen, and a lot of confusion occurred as to which one is the accepted program. Now. I may not have time to elaborate this, but let me simply put, simply put forward this statement. And I, I will explain a little bit further. So in NEC 4 here, we use the accept the program current at the dividing date. I say this because of clause 63.5. That is NEC 4. In NEC 3, NEC 3, it says in clause 63.3 in NEC 3, it simply says, Accept the program. And you see four, we say accept the program current at the dividing date, meaning you need to pick that accept the program updated at the dividing date. Now the latest version of NEC4 further clarifies. So what do you mean by current? It says, well, the assessment takes into account the events which have happened between the dates of the accepted program and the dividing date. That is what we mean by current. Current as to what? Current at the dividing date. And that is NEC4. And that is the major implication that we must understand in NEC4 in, in, in terms of dividing date. So that is in terms of time. How about the cost then? How about the cost? Well, we just read things through. Cost-wise, cost -wise, the dividing date will, will divide the actual dividing cost and the forecast dividing cost. Some of you actually asked me back then, asked me, they said, Mr. Gordon, well, if there is a project manager instruction, so normally a contractor will not carry out any work until that instruction is, is confirmed. I said, yes. And then he said, he said, well, in that case, then, then why do we need a dividing date? Because potentially everything will occur after that instruction. So everything will be forecast anyway. There is no such a point to, to say actual defined cost. I said, yes, you may be right, 
most of the contractor will carry out the works after the instruction is confirmed. But hold on, how about the other compensation events? There are other compensation events notified by the contractor. Back then, when I was when when I was working as a as a construction engineer underground, I worked in tunnel industries. Many of you know tunnel industry. I also worked on uh, waterworks, so everything underground. So one day, one day, a contractor notified uh, something. Notified something. He said uh, it's on a Saturday morning. By the way, I was in the office uh, in Hong Kong, and uh, he said, "Well, a piece of rock just fall down in the tunnel." And uh, he said, well, can you come and have a look? Now, in that instance, what you should be thinking will be, well, this is not an emergency, but it is still urgent. Not an emergency because it was on a Saturday. No one was there. No one was hurt. But it's still a piece of rock falling down, safety issues. So so think about this. If, if your boss asks you anything about this on Monday, then what, should, what, you should, what you should say? Then it is sort of urgent. So in that case, the contractor very likely, very likely would um, issue any kind of some sort of early warnings they will put forward as a as a contractually as as an early warning instructed the project manager to come to have an early warning meeting for example on monday to talk things through then during that meeting both the project manager and the contractor would say well this is a safety issue so first thing first safety first let's do something about this can you remove that piece of rock, fence off that area, get a geologist to come in and have a look, assess the situation, whether it's, it is safe or, or not to, to carry on working in that tunnel. So that sort of work should have been carried out before even any, any assessment of compensation events or any, any instruction per se uh, uh, would have been given. So in that case, in that case, there tend to be some of the work that happened before the dividing date. And for those work that, ha that, that has been done, we use the actual defined cost and the fee on top. And that is the implication, that is the reason why we need to divide, we need to divide that date called dividing date. So that is a dividing date. I hope you understand it better. Um, there are other topics I want to talk about. If you have other topics you want me to talk about, put that in the comment section, I will have a look. I hope this is helpful for you. See you next time and Happy New Year 2024 now, time flies.